Ibo mwane genti, aye keno na ozo, no bosi keta, aisi kwa nkwe chiri ya zelu. Aisi to ya dila ina mwa mwa chine ke umi ife. Ise, ise, ise. Awa ita adiko si dina ya ekupia, eba po oso, ni ife, aye wele wetelu li iru akupo, no bosi keta. Awa li ife nino no mana, ya bi ife, obi adoro mwana ya bi ife. Um, unna ya nira wakwa, unye na nira wakwa bo, delete cancel, chuma zena nika anu. Unyendo, balinsta, ijofo. Ifenji wotifa ni iwa kukwa abuna. Owo ifencho kai dress ya nubia France. Biko nu. Eji mwira ana ayo biko. Iwe wane. Ade edu na bubon. Di ene miyai welo. Budi zoo. Not fighting ourselves. The common enemy I will na this thing now but the zoo. This is in the work of the world. I will refer to the work of the world. But instead of the work of the world. As in, I don't know how to do it. Yes, I'm not happy. Yes, I'm not happy. Yes, I'm not happy. 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 Drop your own comment. Okay, say me. I'm not happy. 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 And which no open Nigerian government is mass in the can all those things are gonna name because no blast can name we for then a commission there. I will remove this video. Open a mass in the open a federal government of Nigeria, the easy mass in the can after a court, the same court, no Nigeria, Nigeria, the charge and afflicted this issue of if any mena. In the Daniel Wabusat is a man name. Manab before be a drama. I know a bazo why I am. I know no ma. Obey fag I job. Obey fag you with him well over. With any go. Obey fag you with him well over. Gin a one nigger no go. Keep any minus now who can eat. Gin a gogan eat. So what the man upon couldn't get here before this year, drop all your own comments on the commission bureau. All right, over to you, sir. Labor is kicking against that. They say 300, 300% increase is what they want. The discos are also not smiling. They are also reaching to the government to say we want to review. You know, you've uh, removed the, um, the differentials in exchange rates and you've also removed subsidies. So dollar has gone up everything. So we too we want to continue our own to remain in business but you and i there is nothing in terms of remaining alive because that's the only thing for us but what do we do life goes on because of uh, so much that we have today i will pause here i hope god willing by monday there would have been further development and then i can take you on on some of these issues i will start this morning by giving you a teaser and that teaser will be on uh, Mazin and the Kano's earlier position on the issue of uh, agitation and Biafra and then of course today that is incarceration his position what it is so I'll just take a little bit of teaser for you to also understand where we are in all of this Right, as uh, his earlier position, and then now, this is what he says. Thank you. 
know that there's that fighting with them. That's why I'm here. I will not do this until they're finished. All right. That was uh, the voice of Mazi Namdekano. His present position, we are fighting not to, to defend our people, not to kill our people. So for anyone who has been masquerading as uh, either the deputy or the altar leader or whatever, uh, siding or in any way benefiting from the killings in the southeast may not be sharing his thoughts. All right. So I have in the studio Ifani Ejiofo, who is a member of the legal team of Mazi Nandekano. Uh, and good to have you in the studios. Good morning, Savik. Good morning, listeners. It's a pleasure being with you once again, Mr. Savik. Thanks All right. So, so, uh, so much has happened, but you are able to still. Uh, try the best you can. So, let's start on a general note. What is the state of things as concerns in Namdekano before we begin to break into specifics? I get into the other areas of discussion. Um, first of all, it's no longer a, it's a matter of common knowledge <coughs> that on October 13, 2022, Mazen Namdekano was discharged by the Court of Appeal in a landmark judgment delivered by the third part of the of, 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 uh, the of appeal, the Honorable Government. And not only that he was discharged, the court forbade, prohibits further detention and his further trial before any court in Nigeria on any indictment or allegation of offense. This order was duly served on the federal government and also served on the DSS. It has not been obeyed. Rather, we are confronted with a situation whereby the Federal High Court, the, the Federal Government, appeal against the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which is permissible under our law, then proceeded to apply for a state of execution of that order and judgment of the Court of Appeal. And it's important for me to stress and emphasize on this, emphasize this. In the history of Nigerian criminal jurisprudence, it has never happened before in the history of Nigerian criminal jurisprudence for a citizen to be discharged by a court of appeal, even the High Court. Let's start with the High Court. Once a citizen is discharged of an offense, an order, possibly for acquittal, like in the instance of in the, in the present case, the order forbidding his further detention and trial is more powerful than even order of acquittal in this case. The person will walk out from the court, a free person, once that pronouncement is there by the court at the point of government is delivered. Well, in this case, the federal government apply and obtain an order to stay the execution of the government of the appeal. And it will just the world to know that as strange and unprecedented that order will be, it's, it is the first time, even in the, even in the, of appeal rules. There's no provision under criminal, criminal, criminal direction allowing an order, an application of sanction to be granted, entertained by court of appeal, an application for stay of execution of judgment of a criminal matters. It has never happened. And that's why, that's why they find it very difficult and they have no laws, authorities, or even such to rely upon in obtaining that order. Because an order of stay is only permissible, grantable in, in civil civil matters, not in criminal matters. Or in situations where someone has been convicted of and sentenced to death. But once an order of discharge and acquittal, like in this case, but what was granted in Namikano's case is more than order of acquittal. The system will walk walk free walk out of the court a free person. This in detention, the person will be released immediately. And remind, remind, also be reminded that Court of Appeal also made an order for him to be released unconditionally. So the order today, staying the execution of judgment of Court of Appeal, was not known to was not founded on law, was not founded on, on statute law or any legal jurisprudence. It's an application 
predicated on civil authorities, civil, civil, civil decisions of the Supreme Court, not criminal decisions. decisions. We cannot fight them. It has never happened before in the history of criminal disciplines in this country. It has never happened before. This is the first time we are seeing where a citizen is granted, is, is discharged by the order, order of court, prohibited from being detained or, in, or tried on any, in any court on any allegations on that. Then an order, staying the execution of that order is made. It has never happened before. We cannot fight them. With great respect to the, to the, to the Justice Court of Appeal that granted that order, we went to Supreme Court. Uh, we filed an application, when I filed an appeal against that order. So uh, apparently, we have two appeals coming up for determination on 14th, hearing on 14th of uh, September 2023. Appeal against the judgment of court of appeal, and also appeal we file against the other state execution of court of appeal. Because that's or that, that's or that, that, that decision cannot stand in the face of law. However, when it's not founded in law, founded in any legal, legal jurisprudence, it's, applica it's other on, on, on order founded on civil jurisprudence, civil decisions of the Supreme Court. So that's why we are today. Apart from this, we also have other matters in the high court, in federal high court, like one is coming up next week for the time for judgment. Another an application will file last year by our lead counsel, Professor Michael Zekomesen, also, uh, which uh, seeking for an order of mandamus to compel the SSS to allow Mazinam can access to his uh, medical doctors and also avail us of record, uh, medical records and other foundation orders for media. So the application has been entertained on the merit and it's coming up for hearing on uh, for judgment on 20th, that's next week, Thursday. So, um, what at best I can tell you that Namdekan is being today unconditionally detained in custody of uh, SSS in a solitary confinement uh, because there's no, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that order which discharged him and consequently prohibited for his further detention and trial before any court has not been set aside by court of by Supreme Court. The order is still effective until when it's set aside. So his further detention today in the custody of the SSS in solitary confinement is being is unconstitutional, illegal, and not proceed. So, and the, of, of course, uh, the system we operate a system we, that have no respect for rule of law. It's our thinking that the new government in power should have done the needful by giving directive that this judgment must be obeyed immediately without wasting time. So, but we are hopeful and also. Uh, we, we believe that court will do justice to the, to, the, to the case. Thank you. All right. There are also the arguments that uh, uh, Namdekan also has some other cases at the Federal High Court. Can you probably shed light on that? Beyond the, the one you people file that the government is claiming. We have two other cases of the so system today before the Federal High Court. Uh, one is one on order of mandamus, which is coming up next week for judgment. The second one is an order, and a written summary application. We are inviting the Federal High Court to interpret relevant sections of the domestic and international laws, which the Federal Government um, violated in the course of his uh, abduction, criminal abduction in Kenya, and the external rendition to Nigeria. And incidentally, the application the, was filed before the judgment of court of appeal was delivered on October 13th. So. The four fundamental issues, questions we are, we are raising for termination, raised for termination by the Federal Court, have been taken care of by the Government of Court of Appeal in principle. So we are just there for the court to grant our release. Because how our release, you know, when in original application, when you set up questions for court to determine, the ones that determine the positive, the court will proceed to grant your release. So in this case, the questions we are asking the court to determine, as regards to the relevant laws we are pointing out, they violated in the course of his abduction in Kenya. And that's why relation to Nigeria has been effectively determined by the government of Court of Appeal, delivered on, on uh, October 13, 2022. So what we are there now for is for the court to proceed, because that judgment is binding on the Federal High Court. It's for the court to proceed to grant the release talks for, and it's coming up on October 25th for, for hearing. So, All right. There are those who have argued, I don't know rightly or wrongly, that probably the release of Nam De Kano may bring peace to the southeast. What's your take on that? Sure, sure. Because it's so um the continued detention of Inna the Kano smacks of greatest grave injustice to the poor southeast. 
uh, as you are fully away, now the Kana has never committed an offense not too long. So um, he's merely advocating his right to self determination. And that's why you can see that the Kufari government has been running from pillar to pole before we went to Court of Appeal, seeking for amending charges against him from one count, from five count to seven count, from seven count to eleven count, from eleven count to fifteen count. And at the end of the day, the entire charge, the entire charge has been dismissed by the Court of Appeal. Because the charge has no, you cannot stand on the face of law. There's no proof evidence attached to it. So they have nothing against him because he's ex operating within the constitutional bind, the right to right, of right to self-determination, which is an inalienable right. So his abduction in Kenya and consequent international religion to Nigeria provoke civil protests in the Southeast. People who have been sidelined, have been, um, uh, have been treated like slaves in the scheme of things in this uh, federation, we are today being treated like, like third class citizens in the country. We have no regard for the people of the Southeast. So, and it's only the mouthpiece of the people. Now, the guy is the only person who can, who can tell, tell, say the truth to the authority without minding us as God. So, he has not done wrong. He has never committed an offense in so doing. Because if I committed an offense in so doing, the, 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 the charge preferred against him will be school stuff. There's no offense in law he has committed. So, however, we are, of course, we are aware that our people are in sympathy with predicament today. And of course, we might have been aware that he's, he has a certain health status. He has been uh, he has been having serious medical condition, which has not been effectively tackled in the custody of the SS. We are being incarcerated today. So, and they are privy to these informations, and they are privy to his ordeal. So, they are not happy. And uh, though, of course, we are aware that some characters uh, will take advantage of that situation to be unleashing mayhem in the, on the people, the peaceful people of the Southeast. So that's what's playing out now, of course. I'll, do, I will go and I'll get into that because I need to, I need to, I need, to I need people to understand the background, how it started, and, the, and how it metaphors to where we are today. And people should also be properly informed to know. That I, I, I love the, clip, the clips you just played shortly before the program starts because um, people should understand Namdekano's position when it comes to the to the criminal activities going on in the South East today and also before he was abducted and his present position. And that last clip which you played shortly a while ago, it was what he said in open court on June 28, 2022. And of course, he was abducted on. Presently on 19th of June 2021, and spent eight days, they were detained eight days, where he was subjected to all forms of torture, beating, and inhuman treatment in Kenya. So, before he was external addition to Nigeria on that, on, on eight days after. So, taken to court in Nigeria on like, the 29th of, of, um, of June, without reference to us, we are not notified about his presence in court, about the fact that he's been brought to court on that day. So he was taken to court. We are in the court, made an order reminding him as the custody. So then our people protested about the treatment made to him, about the manner in which he was treated. So then an order was um, an announcement was made for at home by the IPOB leadership. Uh, so and that was observed by entire people of the South. We were not compared to observe it. They observed it wholeheartedly because in sympathy. And in solidarity with the fate of Namdekan. So, a few days after, about, about on a Monday or about three days after, he specifically instructed Namdekan specifically, I want me to be, I want to be quoted clearly today. He specifically instructed that I should pass a message to leadership to call off the sit at home. Because you understand that he's working a great injustice against our people. And if it's not well managed, the, some clear elements. We take advantage of that to cause problem, which is what is playing out now. So, and they obeyed him, obeyed him and called off the start home. But however, there are things that had happened before then. There are people that uh, there are clearly usurping the powers which you don't have. Uh, so they see it as an advantage, as a, as a kind of as opportunity to launch their this demino, their malfeasance into the flag. But I'm not saying they're launching themselves into limelight. They are launching their criminal activities into limelight. So they use the opportunity, aided by those who are supposed to understand the plight of Muslim Americano, 
aided them in going ahead to declare this is at home. They will stand, they will, they will sleep and wake up the following morning and say that uh, today is at home. So, and he is getting these briefings on a daily basis. He's getting it, and when it has gotten to a level that he will speak out, on June 28, he came out to say those things. And he can also observe that he, wasn't, he was not happy when he was saying it. And he was not told to say it. He was not told to say it. He had a, was not saying, he, 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 he saw the opportunity, he now passed that message to the people to understand that it's not part of them and they're not working for him. Because now they can't a peaceful person. And they run a peaceful global movement. So, and they continue to exploit it. Now, I will say this to you. What is happening in the South East on account of incidents that's from being called by Simon Eka is effectively being aided by Nigerian security agents. Because what is playing out in the social media today, you won't tell me they're not having this intelligence about how they operate. And I can assure you, you are into media. Go and cross check the facts. Nigerian government has not for one day rose to condemn the activities of pronouncement by Simon Eber. Not one day. Now, because it was a, 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 script, a script which is targeted towards black belling this global peaceful movement, IPB. In probably in cohort with, in parenthesis, in, in bracket, international community. Now, sometime in March last year, to be, let me draw this point clear. In March last year, that was, um, um, that was precisely on a, on on a, on March no yes March, March last two or three this year the global terrorism index made a publication classifying IPUB as a dangerous group now IPUB has before then been making publications distancing themselves from the activities from he knows activities of Simon Edmund group who are purporting to be acting for Nambican and IPUB. Before then, he was, he baptized himself as Nambican disciple. From there, metamorphosed into, into, um, into school specialist for IPUB. From there, when it became, when it became clear to him that IPUB has neutralized that position, he now, uh, uh, himself the, the, the position of Prime Minister of, um, Biafra, Biafra government in exile. So, to enable him to continue. But in actual fact, he's not working for Nambican. And I know why I'm doing this detail. So when, because I'm, uh, why they, why they, they issued this publication? And I immediately, because I immediately issued a rejoinder on 16th of March, 2023, detailing the activities of Simon Epp and Group and Criminal Grounds. And also pointing to the fact that IPUB as a peaceful global movement has distanced themselves in various publications. And also volunteer to assist the security agents in fishing out these criminal elements. These are not something a word of mouth is, is containing the various publications, which I will, not, I will not mention the dates it's done. So on, on March 17th, IPOB also issued a agenda protesting. And a portion to this, a, threat, a letter was sent to, 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 to Global Index. The letter was sent to that institution requesting for them to retract immediately. And upon investigation of the complaint and submission by IPUB and my humble self as right to IPUB, they on 27th of March issued a retraction retracting that classification. I'm talking about global terrorism index. They, 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 they retracted that complication. Now, IPUB made a publication on 22nd of August 2021, distancing themselves from activities of criminal elements who hijacked the process, probably who saw the gap created by the temporary uh, 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 exit of Nambican, or probably of Bakun Greba Nambican's uh, venture to be causing, me, unleashing mayhem, killing people, kidnapping, and doing all sorts of things in the South East. Then they also issued, issued another publication on 11th of January, 2022, followed by another publication on 26th of March, 2022, Followed by another publication on 6th of December 2022. Followed by another publication on 23rd of February 2023. 
for an application by the 29th of March 2023. For an application of 17th of April 2023 and 3rd July 2023. These are different publications from IPUB as a peaceful global movement. Distancing themselves from the activities of Simon Eba and also indicting Nigerian security agents of aiding them. Who can tell me that yesterday I was discussing with a friend of mine who lost the general system uh, during uh, when he was uh, during Teldat. I was asking him uh, whether the burial has been done, have been done and all what. He said, uh, so, uh, uh, but can, let me tell you something. That my, my younger sister is still in the mortuary. That they are they are negotiating, that the that in law is negotiating with people, the people, the de facto the de facto government in power in Nemo State. You know what I mean by de facto government? People who are who are in charge of certain places. Because some part of Nemo State non state actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some part of Nemo State have been ceded to this criminal element. They can't tell you this. They are negotiating with them to agree on a date and time for the barrier. But otherwise you can't come there. This is very on the ground. You can't come there. And you won't tell me that state government is not away. And you won't tell me that Nigerian security agents is not away. But what they are doing is that they are identifying houses of members of IPOB. You know, some people that have nothing to do with the criminal elements. They will go to the houses in the wee night hours of the night and abduct them. And you won't see them again. You won't see them again. Now, me. So, so um, I also issued public. I also issued publication because now they cannot mandate me to issue this publication and acting as his lawyer and lawyer to IPUB. I issued this publication distancing the activities of Simon Eba from Mazina Bekano. These these publications were dated first of October two thousand twenty-two. Another one, was, another one was issued on tenth of November two thousand twenty-two. Another one was issued on 17th November 2022. Another one was issued on 20th of November 2022. Then already at Biafra on 5th of December, I was granted a four hour starting minutes interview where I discussed a number of issues. I took time in Igbo language to educate our people and tell them what they can stand for and tell them the messages from them they can convey the message from them they can. That they should stop listening to someone who is advocating, advocating violence that's not working for you. Then, the person gave them timeline within which Biafra will come. He said the person, someone ever told them that Biafra will come in the next day and have about 158 days or that about. And I said, Hebrews are gifted that full of wisdom. Can't you make use of their number six? How can you believe that someone someone who said is working for the release of Unam Bekan is not giving you time? Biafra will come. He's not talking about his release, he's talking about when Biafra will come. I also proceeded to tell him that he has already sent, sent the warships that which have been which have been exported to Nigeria and probably then at the time we had discussed at the time the program was going on that they have been sighted along the Babenue River Niger and all what. I said, what what are, what are, what are you listening to? These are cardinal points I was able to identify for them. I said, these are not this can't happen. It's not happening. What if something days has come and gone, and it's changed the narratives. Where is the worship? No worship. So can't you make it of an initiative? We are talking about Nam the Kanzo list. Government is running today, running from pillar to post. They cannot help it. Because I know his release will come soon. They have no option than to release him. The law is by his side. They cannot deter him beyond point. They are dragging their feet. They cannot hide. They cannot. They, 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 there's a limit to where they can go. Are you, I want to be quoted today very clearly. Nam the Kano, Mazin Nam the Kano, gave specific instruction to someone close to him. I may not mention the name, because the person knows himself. Instructing him to file action against someone in Finland. And the feedback he got from them was that action has been filed. The feedback he got from them that was that action has been filed. To file action against Simon Eba on his activities in the, in, 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 in the southeast. On his behalf, they should file action against him in Finland. He gave that, that, that instruction. Who speak already? The feedback Nam the can receive from those who gave that instruction was that action has been filed. But in fact, in fact, nothing has been done. An order he gave. I know he'll be asked soon. And when he come out, everything will be in the open. Now, for those, for those, who are still towing that part of legion of bad wagons? 
Let me say this to you. I am IPOB with council today. I've been handling today, we have over 1,000 cases across the various courts in the South East in Nigeria, in Abuja here too. We are, we are defending, defending our work, we are defending IPOB and members of IPOB. When this criminal element started, I got a different instruction from the leadership of IPOB. And it is time for us to start profiling because once they arrested, once they arrested, I mean deviant groups, when they arrested, who are working with Simon Neva, and once they arrested, and probably 10 other in the police station, SSS, or, the, or, or prison, they will write their members of IPOB. Do you belong to IPOB? Yes, we are members of IPOB. Now the leadership now have started profiling. Once you call me or probably send a message to the office, my office, that you are in detention and this, and I said, please, revert to the leadership. I am not a liar. Today, today, by that introduction, by that strategy they introduced, we have them in their thousands in prison custody and police detention facilities without nobody asking for being aware about. Because Simon is giving them directive on what to do. I hope I make it sense to you. There are many of them today in various detention facilities across the states. Without somebody asking them what is happening, how can we get you out? Because some of them may have been either arrested in the course of enforcing at home, which has been caught off by, 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 by leadership of people and by, by Nabi Kano too. And they, they're enforcing. Someone will sleep in Finland and wake up and say, and, 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 and declare that shutdown of the entire house for the two weeks. And what, do, what do you think is responsible for Simon Ekba almost having a few days? You would have thought that uh, government should also explore the diplomatic channel in going after Simon Ekba. But the well, guy seems no, to be no, enjoying no, himself. It, it, it's simple. Why is, is, it appears not that he's having a few days. He's not having a few days. It appears that he's having a few days in the eyes of people who don't understand what's happening in the secret. Is that... The government is adding them. What is happening in the South is today? That's allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allegedly, when I are saying that, allegedly, are, I know what I'm talking no, about. There are, no, there are no I have the evidence. proof to say that I'm adding them. I will if, come I, to that. if I have the evidence, I'll give me, you the evidence. Then then I, I, can, I, can, I, can I will give you for evidence. So, why I'm saying that the government is adding them? Not the Nigerian security agency is adding them. No, I'm saying that. They have every intel. They have intel at their disposal. All right, um, umu chukuna nugunuka kaya bi fesi wae kulo ni wapu kwa. Owo li kwe mkubo na mbo before ayege ya bi fe. Kaya kusi ni ibo wa ye mba. Owo li kwe mkubo na mbo. Awa enemy, abolo wan nege. Ye enemy wele, it's not your brother. Owo te neku, ayin chani nebo, one family. Ande, Adema anuzu tena kanu debele. IPOB one family. IPOB one family. Utena kuri mbwe. Nuno debele ya bifa. Ya bifa yabudi fe guru mike. Nisina. Nisina. Kezi kaiji. La puzie mbola ako ira ini mene mozo. Ima na di issue between the um the prime minister in Eza Ebomo and Simon Eba. The list is not generally demanded for the list of months in Nanikano. He's demanding for the release. Can I throw away, can I revise your memory? During the time, okay, the months in Nanikano, 2017, or when you know, when you know, when you know, when you was the deputy, Nanidro Biafra, my dear, I know what is happening in the East. There is a lot of protests. He to to protein say mellow, protein say merely shake everywhere, and the Nigerian government now back on them mad ebo during that time. Oh man, this time on ebo now bad ebo. Because when you open up, because get your phone to record the phone call. How long? Keep the web web IPOB web web bendi ebo. We may be for the teacher and ebo. Because of now, Simon Epa Simon is in the canon. Now you're the DC. I'm more I'm a whole because I'm once again a fair body stage of for Kurabolia because only a bonyam negging major of Mars in the canon. So I will not say much things about this until our leader Mars in the canon negging a putter 
oga ka ya mazi nke bu nke nyota go mona ya bi fe kwesi kwesi ka kwesi